Hi, I would like to take a moment to go over a few simple steps to create and print New York rent stabilized lease renewal forms using TenNet. For our new users, please visit our website at tennetsoft.com and review the instructional tour video for building, apartment, and tenant setup information to establish your new TenNet account. For our existing user network, simply log in and update your portfolio information using the following instructions. All new users will also use this as a guide to establish their buildings for rent stabilized lease renewal production only. Upon login to your account, click on the Property Setup tab and select the previously established building from the properties display. The default information for the building is now displayed on the right side of the screen under Property Details. Click the Edit tab to make the following changes if necessary. Under Property Settings, go to Type and click the down arrow to select New York Stabilized if not already present and confirm that the New York Stabilized options are accurate as shown. Next, uncheck All Months by clicking on the corresponding box for each month to remove the check mark. This is important to prevent the generation of unnecessary recurring rent charges to the tenant records for the accounts receivable function of the software. Once update is complete, click on Save Property. As your rent stabilized tenants renew their lease and in order to update their lease information, click on Portfolio, select the desired building from the properties display, and select the tenant you would like to update. Click on the Edit Mode tab and update the lease begin and end dates, then go to Recurring Charges to update the new rent amount. If the lease is renewing in a future month, go to the next available line under Recurring Charges. Click the down arrow to choose Base Rent and enter the new base rent amount. Click the calendar box next to the amount and select the effective date for this recurring future dated rent update. The final step is to remember to process the end of month procedure under the My Account tab at the end of each month. This will effectively advance the processing month and automatically update any previously scheduled future dated transactions for the first day of the upcoming month. To generate the stabilized lease renewal forms, click on the Reports Forms tab and select New York Stabilized Lease Renewals. The default for the selection will be complete processing and will display the month and year that is 120 days from the current processing month. If this is correct, select the building and click Generate Leases. You will receive a prompt that the lease has been generated, then click OK. There will now be a blinking yellow information box with an Adobe link to be opened. Click on the link to open it and then print your leases for mailing with the option to also store them as PDF files if desired for future reference. Another valuable feature with TenNet is that you can edit the calculated information on the lease renewal form by choosing to generate the lease for an individual tenant only. Under Lease Process Options, Choose Selective Individual Lease and follow the same steps to generate the lease renewal. This will be useful in a preferential rent situation that you wish to modify for the next renewal period before sending it to the tenant. It is our goal to continue to satisfy as many of our new and existing TenNet users as we possibly can, and we look forward to more of your ideas in the future to enhance your experience. Thank you.